Hi everyone, Craig here again. Today I want to show you how to chart a sine wave and a cosine wave in Excel. What you see what I've got on my screen now is a blue sine wave from 0 to 2 pi, so it's one full cycle of the wave, and you see the amplitude from negative 1 to 1. How I did this is I took 0 to 360 degrees and made a list incrementing by 1. On the adjacent column I converted those degrees to radians. You don't have to do both, this is just what I did so anybody watching could convert back and forth or use their preference. So I then took the sine of each of the radians and I've included on the sine a coefficient for the amplitude and all that does is change the level of the peaks and the slope of the of the, the sine wave at different points but I'm going to put that back to one so we keep it on the chart. The cosine is the same is re referencing the same radians from 0 to 360 degrees or 0 to 2 pi. So with that said, I'm going to turn on the cosine wave, and you'll see that it leads the sine wave by 90 degrees. What's interesting about that is that at any point on the sine wave, the slope of the wave that is actually represented by a line that's tangent to the sine wave, but the slope of it is represented by the cosine. So if you take the derivative which you learn in calculus, the derivative of any point on the sine wave, it's going to be cosine. I'll show you that by turning on a line I've made that represents that slope. So if we go back to zero radians, we'll see we've got a slope of one represented here and by our line. That's because our sine wave is increasing at the exact same rate upward as it is over, which gives it the slope of 1, and you'll see that here if you look at the same point in time or in radians on the cosine wave, it is at 1. As we walk through the sine wave, we'll see that that stays true at any point we check. I'll check some major points just to, just to keep it easy and not so lengthy. But if we look here, our slope is effectively 0, and we're at the very peak of our sine wave at 1.58 radians. If we look at that same moment along the radians axis, our sine wave has a value of zero. Go ahead and walk to one pi, or pi. Now we're at pi and we've got a slope of negative one. because you see we're coming down on our sine wave? Go to that same point we are now at negative 1 on the cosine wave. So it's a pretty interesting little tool. You can cycle this over as many times as you wanted and have as many sine waves reflected. But I thought this was a neat tool to show and help out anyone trying to learn about the derivative of a sine wave being a cosine wave. So that's it. Feel free to like or subscribe to my video or leave a comment requesting other videos. I will continue to add more. So thanks for watching.